Hi guys, I'm back with a video to talk about something very, very important that happened yesterday. The National Weather Service Office in Jackson, Mississippi released their final official rating and analysis of the Rolling Fork, Mississippi tornado that struck the town and Silver City back in uh, towards the end of March on March 24th. I think we all remember this very, very well. And they've taken now over two months to review everything, all of the damage uh, inputs and all the areas that were hit by the tornado and um, Rolling Fork, Silver City, all those areas. And they've taken over two months to an uh, analyze all of that. And finally, yesterday, they're, they released their final official rating for this tornado. And it's pretty interesting. They have now upgraded the rating to a high-end EF4 with estimated peak winds of 195 miles per hour. So let's actually, let's um, click on the official link and um, official page that uh, um, says everything uh, specifically about it. And they say up here, uh, public Information Statement, National Weather Service, Jackson, Mississippi, at 5.06 p.m. Central Time, Tuesday, June 6th. So yesterday, um, 5.06 p.m. Central Time or 6.06 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, Rolling Fork, Silver City Tornado rated EF4, 195 mile per hour, miles per hour. The update, based on additional ground and aerial surveys and consultation from tornado damage and structural engineering experts, the estimated intensity of the Rolling Fork Silver City tornado has been increased to a high-end EF4 with a, with, a maximum, uh, with a maximum wind speed of 195 miles per hour. In addition, fatality and injury information has been updated. More details follow below in the survey. So we look below here. And uh, they say specifically, the Rolling Fork Silver City Tornado rating EF4 estimated peak wind 195 miles per hour. Its path length was 59.4 miles. It traveled nearly 60 miles on the ground. Its path width, it's uh, how wide it was, it was three quarters of a mile long or wide. Uh, fatality, it killed 17 people and injured a further 165 people. And it occurred March 24th from 7.57 p.m. Central Time, which is uh, 8.57 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and the location was four miles southeast of Mayersville, uh, Issaquina County, Mississippi, and lasted until March 24th at 9.08 p.m. Central Time or 10.08 p.m. Eastern Time, eight miles east southeast of Kruger, Holmes County, Mississippi. So uh, it uh, was on the ground for quite a while up in that uh, um north uh, western portion of mississippi that uh, included going through rolling fork and silver city um so this uh this is truly interesting because the mind you the the ef5 um the ef5 sp uh, specified wind speed um for a tornado on the ef scale the enhanced vegeta scale is a tornado with a rating with uh, wind speeds greater than 200 miles per hour so this tornado ended up becoming very very close um to becoming rated in the f5 tornado by really like 10 miles per hour because they'd really start to put uh ef5 tornado tornado starting at like 200 205 miles per hour or if it, they find that it's likely an ef5 but not specific winds they say it's uh ef5 with greater than 200 mile per hour winds because ef4 goes really all the way up to 200 miles per hour 200 miles per hour it still can be rated in ef4 but once you get greater than 200 miles per hour it becomes an ef5 so this uh, tornado ended up becoming uh, with sustained winds, maximum sustained winds at 195 miles per hour. So it got really, really close. And kind of a comparison in a way for anyone maybe who's more in line with understanding more of like tropical cyclones and hurricanes, that type of thing. This single tornado had maximum sustained winds as high as tropical cyclones such as like Haiyan, um, which is it's unbelievable truly unbelievable um so just think you can think of it that way um to help like wrap your mind around that it's just truly remarkable how strong these tornadoes can get and the damage they ca they can cause um and uh speaking on that the reason they ended up upgrading this tornado to 195 miles per hour officially in the end is because of one damage indicator of a floral shop in rolling fork that was completely wiped clean and sustained enough damage where 
they uh, the damage experts, uh, National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi, all those um, people gathered there and looked through it all and determined that that one specific location was damaged enough where it earned a uh, estimated wind speed of 195 miles per hour, completely destroying that um, location. So that that is truly remarkable. Um, that is truly truly remarkable um, <laughs> for a tornado. So that is um, that is what the uh, National Weather Service, Jackson, Mississippi, and um, um, had found uh, to finally end their very very long analysis of how strong this tornado was that happened over two months ago now true which is truly truly incredible they took a lot of time which is great we we need to do that more much more often so this is uh really really um great to see and um this is a truly remarkable tornado so hopefully you guys found this video really informative really helpful really interesting um I know we all on Twitter, we all saw this and we all started tweeting our own opinions about it and tweeting about it, um, seeing this uh, official tweet come out from the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi. So comment below what you guys think about this and um, what, what you got, your guys' opinions and feelings on this is. Uh, like the video down below as well and subscribe to my channel for future content like this if you like this kind of content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.